Right, happening today, the city's new health commissioner will lead his first COVID briefing. It comes just as most restrictions have been lifted and a new variant is now spreading rapidly across New York and New Jersey. CBS News' Natalie Dudrich is live in Long Island City, where later this morning we will hear from him and other top health officials. Natalie. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Yes, the city's new health commissioner is taking over at a time when cases are low, but as you mentioned, increasing, particularly in our area. And at this morning's briefing, his first briefing, he's expected to address how he will guide the city to a new normal. As he leaves his post, Dr. Dave Chocksky passed along some tips to Dr. Ashwin Vassan, the city's newest health commissioner. The advice that I have for him is to um, is to follow his core values and his convictions. You know, for all the the credentials that we have as doctors, it was much more my convictions than my credentials uh, that I relied upon during this crisis. Let's get those in people's hands. Governor Kathy Hochul is urging New Yorkers to remain vigilant and get tested as needed. She announced New York will distribute 20 million at-home COVID tests. Any warning signs, anyone's concerned that they can get that test immediately. The test kits will be handed out at schools, nursing homes, NYCHA buildings, and food banks. This as a new form of the Omicron variant, BA2, is increasing. It now makes up nearly 25% of new COVID infections in the U.S. According to the CDC, BA2 sublineage infections are highest in our area. In New York and New Jersey, 39% of the virus in circulation is now BA2. What we're seeing with BA2 is not really any more severe disease, not any more immune evasion than we saw with the original Omicron. We do see that it is a bit more transmissible. Some have predicted 30%, others have predicted 80% more transmissible. The new sublineage has also raised concerns overseas, where it has grown to dominate cases reported around the world. Meanwhile, Moderna is asking the FDA to authorize a fourth COVID vaccine dose for all adults. Earlier this week, Pfizer asked for emergency approval for a fourth dose of its vaccine, but only for people 65 and older. And this morning's briefing with the new health commissioner gets underway at 11 a.m. and we'll be sure to bring you the very latest. From Long Island City, Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.